guys, Jason here. We're looking at the Alta 100. This is serial number one, zero, zero, one, right? This is the first production M. It will go to its owner next week. Um, for all the guys that have registered on the waiting list and for those in Australia who have put their deposits down for the first run, thank you so much and I appreciate your patience and um, having faith that I will actually bring these to market. And we are. After a long time of waiting for parts and so on, we're really kind of starting to get production going now, right? So um, we want to get this first run done in Australia and we are on track to have the US orders uh, up and running in the last quarter of this year. So we're going to do a series of videos to focus on the features and the tones of the Alta, right? So today we're going to focus on the MIDI, um, what the MIDI functions are and how to program this thing, which I think is pretty simple, right? I'm going to demonstrate it using two different foot switches. I've got a very straightforward Tech 21 MIDI Mongoose here on the floor. Um, and I'll show you how to kind of set that up with the amp. And then I've got a Morningstar MC8 um, which is, you know, kind of more functional, right? You can do a few more things with it. So I'll show you with that um, how we can kind of really kind of tap into the options that are available to be switched from the MIDI controller. Right, so first first up, I've actually set up five basic tones here, right? So with the MIDI function on the amp, you can kind of set the programs up, the program slots in MIDI, to ha however you want. So I've just set up a kind of a channel one clean tone and slot one. Two is a um, kind of, you know, dirty rhythm sound, um, you know, in the vintage mode. Three is uh, channel two again, um, but in modern voicing. Four, we're onto channel three here, right? So kind of lead tones, and I'm bringing the loop in, right? So you can kind of, maybe you can see that I'm going for channel two here. Here's the loop function here, and the loop is coming in, and I've got my uh, FM3 here, just with a simple uh, tape delay um, in the loop. Let's just say I'm on channel, back to program slot one, channel one, um, which is kind of like a plexi style channel. <laughs> got two bright functions here, all right? So I can take the brights off completely. I've got bright one, bring that on. Off, bright two, much more aggressive bright cap. And you can even have them on both at the same time, they're completely independent. So let's just say, for now, I want to kind of keep bright one on, which is a more moderate bright cap on channel one. That's in program one. All I need to do is press store. Right? And now that's stored. If I go to slot two, where I'll have uh, channel two function here in vintage mode with the brights on, let's say I want to have the channel one and with that more aggressive bright cap. Right, so press store. And now when I flip between these, there's slot one, there's slot two. Program slot three was channel two in modern mode. So let me put that back to vintage um, and I'll store that now. So, so here's my new three slots, right? On my foot controller. Program one, program two is channel one with the aggressive bright and three now is just my straight up channel two with no brights. Let's say I'm on program slot three here. Now I want to bring in some brightness into this, so let's bring in uh, bright caps one and two together. Store that, and we're there, right? So back to two, and there's three. So it's really simple, right? You can just kind of set these up as you like. Um, all you need to do is you send the MIDI program that you want to 
to work on, right? So let's go hit one. So now I'm back to slot one, program one, MIDI. As soon as you send that to the amp, it recalls, but you can change it. All right, so let's put this back to um, both right caps on, press store, and now that's stored into the last program that you sent the amp. In this case, one. All right, two, back to one, there it is. So simple, all right? And I'll set it back, to, back again. You can also have the loop switch in and out through MIDI, right? So let's say for channel one now, I wanna have the loop on, which is, gives me my delay. Here it is. So let's store that now. So now that's my slot one. When I go to two, I'm still on channel one, no loop, more aggressive right cap. On the rear of the amp, we've got obviously a MIDI in, and I'm coming from this Tech 21 into the MIDI input. We've got MIDI through on the amp as well. So if you had like a an, you know an Eventide H9 or you know Strymon pedal or, or something like that that you had at the, in the back line with your amp, uh, you could run the MIDI through the head first alter into your MIDI effects, and um, the MIDI controller will be passed all the way through. Uh, the amp as well. So we had a look at simple program change messages via MIDI into the Alta uh, using the Tech 21 MIDI Mongoose. I'm now going to plug in the Morningstar MC8, which is more sophisticated. The MC8 allows for change control messages, which the amp can also accept, right? So let's have a look at that. I've got my Morningstar MC8 set up and I've got it set up in a change control message uh, patch, which allows me to send MIDI CC messages to the amp to control these functions individually, right? Kind of outside of a preset. So it just allows you to kind of toggle each of the switchable features on the amp. But let me just kind of demonstrate. So I'm just changing the channels here, right? One, two, three. And you can see without kind of using presets, it's kind of like, I guess, with modelers and so on, you can go on to kind of stomp box mode, right? You can just kind of toggle these features individually. Um, this is exactly what this is, right? So here I am on channel three in vintage mode, and I'll kind of just demonstrate by bringing the loop in and out, because we've got the delay running here. <laughs> Channel three, let's just kind of, you know, mess around with this a bit, right? I'll just kind of toggle these things individually and you can kind of hear them come in and out. So pretty easy, right? Just to toggle around uh, like this. And I just want to show you one other thing, because you can actually, with the MC8, um, I can, you can actually switch two functions at once. Pretty cool. The MC8 on the Morningstar pedal, right, allows you to send simultaneously with a button press two change control messages. So I'm sending uh, the message for the clip function, right, to diode clipping and invoking the second master volume. So, because when diode clipping comes in on an amp, which the Alta has, you, you can hear, uh, it decreases the volume. This is normal behavior for diodes, right? Because they, they compress the audio signal. So I'll just kind of demonstrate it without the second master. <laughs> Pro 
probably hear that volume change. It's quite noticeable in the room. So let me just use the morning star to kind of switch the master, the second master and the clipping function on together. And there's no change of volume there now because I've set the second master on the rear of the amp to uh, normalize the volume to the same level. That is the MIDI functions on the amp. You can use program control messages, you can use change control messages, set it up as you like, or just activate your favorite setting on the front panel switch. Um, I did mention in a previous video that the amp also remembers your setting. So if this was, um, if I store this, right, that setting there, and I turn the amp off, right, so down to standby, Turn it off and bring it out of standby, it's remembered my setting, right? So you, if you're kind of just using the thing at home and you've got your favorite setting, dial it in, press store, it'll get recalled when you next use the amp. I'll catch you later, guys.